Hey guys, I'm Farshad, welcome to my channel. I upload tutorials about Adobe XD and also some useful content related to UI UX design. I have a very small channel right now, but help me grow by subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And give this video a like if you have found it any useful. I wish that you do because it's the whole purpose of this video. Okay, so now I want to talk about the text tool in Adobe XD after the update that it had on Adobe Max 2020. It's a tutorial for beginners. So if you are learning Adobe XD and you are confused working with the text tool, in this video I'll cover everything you need to know in order to work with this tool. I'm going to talk about this feature on a blank artboard so we can focus on learning. Okay, so let's talk about it. We have the text tool over there to the left on our toolbar and we also can activate it with the shortcut T. First, let's add in some text to our design and in order to do that, I'm going to click on the place that I want to have my text on. And right now I can start typing. But before that, on the properties inspector for the text, we have some specific properties which we are going to explore in a minute. As you can see, for the default, we have auto width text activated. Now, when I'm done typing, I just can click outside, but still my text tool is activated. So in order to get things back to normal, I'm going to select the select tool. I also can do this operation with the help of shortcut V. The text is selected by default. And as you can see, we have a solid blue decoration around it with just one handle at the bottom. Then again, on the properties inspector, we can see that it is highlighted as the auto width text. We use this sort of text for buttons, headings, titles, and other stuff like that. We can see that we can't change the size of our text from the properties inspector. And it makes sense since right now we have the font size to do this operation. Then we have the positioning, rotation, flipping options, the scrolling options and of course the 3d transform for the text properties we have a variety of options first we have the fonts it's right here i can click and then i can surf through my fonts i can change it by just typing the name i can change the font size from here i'm just selecting the placeholder and then i'm going up or down with my arrow keys if I hold shift down, I can go up by 10 or down by 10. Then we have the font weight. We have all these options. It depends on the font. I can even just click here, click on the placeholder and then move down with the arrow key or up with the arrow key. And then my font weight is changing. The same could happen here for the font. We can change the character spacing from here. I'm just selecting the placeholder again and going up or down with my arrow keys. Not a big deal, we've landed. Hold shift down to go up by 10 or down by 10. We also have the line spacing and the paragraph spacing as well. For the auto width, they're going to operate the same. We'll investigate them in a minute. First, let's type something down. In order to do that, I'm going to activate the text tool with the shortcut T. Click here, I want to add the text here, and then start typing. It's a line from my favorite comic book, The Killing Joke. Make sure to read it, it's so cool. Now, something here happens and it's very important. As I reach the end of my artboard, if I continue, well, the rest of my line would be outside of the artboard and therefore it's not going to be shown to the user. So if I get a preview right now, you can see that it's not visible. So in order to create a new line, I have to press enter every time I reach the end of the artboard. And as I do that, my new line starts with the uppercase. It's like a new sentence. but I know that it's not and if I don't do it, it won't be shown. So it's my only option with the auto bit. So now we understand why line spacing and character spacing act the same. 
Every time we wanted to create a new line, we pressed enter. We do the same exact thing in order to create paragraphs. So XT treats them the same. We have alignment options, center, left or right. And actually it's very important to align your text if you want to organize the layout of your artboard. For example, here if I want to go for a title or a button, I would prefer that my text is aligned center. But if I want to have a name next to an avatar, I would rather to have my text aligned to the left. We also have these guys here, they are very cool, we can do underline, we can have a strike through for our text which would come in very handy especially if you're designing a to-do list app. We also have these options here, lowercase, uppercase, title and well they explain themselves. That was it for the auto bit text and let's explode the other ones. So in order to add a text to our design, we have to activate the text tool. After that, we click on wherever we want to have our text and then we can start typing. Then we would have auto with text. But if we click and drag, we could define an area which we want our text to be in. And as you can see on the properties inspector, auto height is activated so let's type in and boom over there you saw it the height adjusts to the text automatically that's what auto height is we use this sort of text for paragraphs descriptions comments and other stuff like that so let's see the differences here if i select this text well we can see that on our properties inspector that it's an auto with text but the easier way to recognize it is that we have a solid blue decoration around it with just one handle at the bottom. And let's see what that handle would do. I'm going to click and then drag it down. And as you can see on the properties inspector, my font size is getting bigger. My text is getting bigger. So we can change the font with the help of this handle at the bottom of our text whenever auto width is activated. But if we select this one, we have the solid blue decoration, but we have four handles around our text. Let's explode what these handles would do. If I play with the handle on the left or the right side of my text, I can expand the area that I want to have my text on. Take a look at the properties inspector. I can change the width of my text, but I can't change the height. That makes sense since it's auto height and XD would help us with that operation. So let's see what will happen if I type in more content in this text box. As you can see, when it reaches the edge of the defined area, it automatically goes into the next line. It doesn't start with the uppercase, so it's not known as a completely new line. But if I press enter, I could have a new paragraph if I want it. As you can see, when I created a new paragraph, it is started with an uppercase, indicating that it's a new sentence. So, right now if I play with the handles on the left and the right side of my text, the text would be automatically adjust in the area that I'm defining for it and it's so cool. Let's see what will happen if we play with the handles on the top or the bottom of our text. Well, I can define the area that I want to have my text on more freely now. If you take a look at the properties inspector, right now we can even define the height of our text and XT won't do it automatically for us anymore. So we have full control of height and the width of our text. Also right now on the text properties, you can see that it's a fixed size text so it won't adjust automatically in any way and we have full control. 
We also can know that this text is fixed size from the dashed blue line that it has on the bottom side. And this time we have eight handles around our text which allows us to resize our elements with more freedom. Since XT won't help us with automatically adjustments anymore, let's type in more content and see what will happen if we pass the lines of the area that we've defined for our text. And now if I just click outside, the whole text is not shown anymore. If I select the text, I can see that it's complete, but it's not shown completely because that line is out of the boundaries that we have defined for our text. As you can see, we have a dot over there at the handle in the middle telling us that there is more content here. So we can click and drag it down and the whole text would be shown to us. We can also do something else which is very cooler. Let's add in more content and then I'll talk about it. Okay, so now I have added more text and the text is not shown completely because it's out of the boundaries of the areas that I've defined and it's fixed size so it won't help me. But we can convert our text to auto height. So for example, right now if I click on the auto height, the height would be automatically set and we don't have to do it by ourselves. We could also convert it to auto width and in that way we would just have one handle at the bottom and we know that for a fact that handle could change the font size of our text. If you want to change auto width into auto height, it would look messed up sometimes and it makes sense so I'd rather not do that instead I'm going to undo what I did. Now that we understand the differences, let's explore the line spacing and paragraph spacing in auto height or fixed size text. They behave the same in this situation. Right now, if I change the line spacing, I can have more space between the lines. But if I change the paragraph spacing, I'll have more space between my paragraphs. A very quick note for starters. You might want to copy a text from internet wherever to your design and when you do that because the auto width is the default it's gonna make a mess especially when the text is so big so you have to convert it to auto height and then make it smaller so it's just a little tip always go for auto height when you want to paste something on your design and then you can control it you can make it uh, even auto width if you want it but the point is that you are in control. So that was it for this video. I wish you have found it useful and helpful. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe to my channel as I'm going to upload more tutorials on Adobe XD and some useful content about UI UX design. Thank you all. Wish you have a great day.